The Onondaga County Health Department promised a public notice if they felt there's a risk of possible spread in any one place. Tonight, we have one of those cases, the Topps Market in Manlius. News Channel 9's Andrew Donovan is at the On Center where he asked the county executive about this. And Andrew, I imagine this is one of those cases where it would be difficult for the county to track all the people who may have come into contact with this individual. Well, and Christine, that's the exact reason why they put out these public notices. They don't do it for every single positive case. We've heard people being positive in school districts and other stores like Wegmans and so many other places, but this is a case where there is possible contamination. This isn't for people shopping tonight or even this week. We're told the store has been deep cleaned. This is for people who were shopping last week when someone who was working at those same hours tested positive and the county executive said it was, it was somebody who works in the front side of the store, a clerk. So this person may have interacted with an impossible number of customers to actually count. Here is that person's shift according to the health department. Last Thursday, March 26th from 6 in the morning until 1 10, 110 specifically in the afternoon, and then Friday, March 27th, 6 to 11 in the morning. The health department is asking people in the store at these times to not panic, but monitor for coronavirus symptoms, shortness of breath, fever, cough for the next 14 days. This is a different scenario compared to a Wegmans employee testing positive earlier this week because the county then didn't feel public notice was necessary. Might it have to do with the type of work these people do where, again, speculating the Wegmans person works in the back of the store and they can count the five people um, they may have interacted with, right. whereas if you're in the front of the store, you might interact with an unknown amount of customers. It, it, exactly, and, and you know, I think this person was a, a clerk. Uh, yeah, so uh, I'm, I'm sure that went into the consideration as well. Being aware and concerned is good but panicked in fear when it's not necessary because they did a thorough investigation and are comfortable is bad. One thing to pay attention to, both days this worker's shift overlaps with TOPS special seniors only shopping hours which start at 6 in the morning every day. So it's suggested by the health department to monitor for symptoms and if you're older or have underlying health conditions, watch closely if those symptoms start contact your doctor early don't let too many days pass by your doctor will then advise you about the next steps which may include testing live in syracuse andrew donovan news channel 9.